solve 3x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0. We're going to go ahead and do this by completing the square. So the first step in completing the square is to make sure that you only have x terms on one side. So we'll start by subtracting the 1 from both sides. And so we end up with 3x squared plus 4x, and that's equal to negative 1. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure this number here is a 1. So the easiest way to deal with this is divide every term by 3. So when we do that, we end up with x squared plus 4 thirds x equals negative 1 third. And now we have to focus on this piece here. We have to take this piece and divide it by 2 and square it. So instead of dividing it by 2, since we have a fraction, let's multiply it by 1 half and then square it. So let's go to the side and do it over here. So we'll take 1 half and we'll multiply it by 4 thirds. So when we do that, the 2 goes into the 4 twice, so we end up with 2 thirds. And now we square it, so 2 thirds squared is 4 over 9. So again, you take this number here, you divide it by 2, or multiply it by 1 half, and then you square it. Then, you take the 4 ninths and you add it to both sides. So plus 4 ninths, plus 4 ninths. So on the left-hand side, we end up with x squared plus 4 thirds x plus 4 ninths. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 1 third plus 4 ninths. Before we go any further, we should probably add these fractions. I'll do it over here. We have negative 1 third plus 4 ninths. We can add the fractions when we have a common denominator. So what we can do is we can multiply the negative 1 third by 3 over 3. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. And then here we still have the 4 ninths. So this is 1 ninth. So let's go ahead and rewrite everything one more time. So x squared plus 4 thirds x plus 4 ninths. And we added these up already, and we said it was equal to 1 ninth. All right, now we're going to factor. And the magic is that this always factors the same exact way. So you write down two parentheses and you put an x here. And to figure out what goes here, you just take this number and divide it by 2. And as before, instead of dividing by 2, we can just multiply by 1 half. So 1 half times 4 thirds is 2 over 3. This always works every single time. Just take this number and divide it by 2 or multiply by 1 half. In particular, it's a positive 2 thirds. So we have positive 2 thirds. And this is being squared, and this is equal to 1 ninth. To finish, we take the square root of both sides. So we end up with x plus 2 thirds equals, and then here, the square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 9 is 3. And we took the square root of a variable term squared, so we have to have a plus or minus. To finish, we subtract the 2 thirds. So minus 2 thirds minus 2 thirds. So x is equal to minus 2 thirds plus or minus 1 third. And we have two cases. We have the plus and the minus. Let's do the plus first. So x is minus 2 thirds plus 1 third. That's going to give us minus 1 third. That's one of our answers. And then let's do the minus. So it's minus 2 thirds and then minus 1 third Negative 2 minus 1 is 3, so we get minus 3 thirds, which is minus 1. And that's it.